Yeah, just a, a few words about uh, C.S. Lewis, very interesting author. And when you get comments about how, um, hey kitty, what are you doing? Um, when you get uh, comments about uh, how religion and the non-theistic view clash, you usually get the theists talking about C.S. Lewis and or less Strobel or is it Lee Strobel? And then the the uh, neo atheists or agnostics are talking about Richard Dawkins and Tyson and the late Christopher Hitchens and that kind of thing. But C.S. Lewis was one of the more interesting Christians because he was an atheist and then he turned to um, he turned to theism later. Um, born in 1898 and lived until 1963. Uh, commonly referred to as C.S. Lewis and known to his friends and family as Jack. I didn't know that. He held academic positions both at Oxford University and at Cambridge University. He is best known for his fictional work, especially the Screwtape Letters, Chronicles of Narnia, the Space Trilogy, and his nonfiction Christian apologetics such as Mere Christianity, Miracles, and the Problem of Pain. Lewis and federal fellow no novelist J.R.R. R. Tolkien were close friends. Both authors served on the English faculty at Oxford University. That's interesting. And they were both active in the informal Oxford literary group known as the Inklings. According to their memoir, Surprised by Joy, Lewis had been baptized in the Church of Ireland at birth, but fell away from his faith during his adolescence. Owing to the influence of Tolkien and other friends at the age of 32, Lewis returned to the Anglican Communion, becoming a very ordinary layman of the Church of England. His faith had a profound effect on his work, and his wartime radio broadcast on the subject of Christianity brought him wide, wide acclaim. So he got a lot of attention for turning to Christianity, and he thrived on the attention, apparently. Um, so very interesting character, if you ever want to want to read some things. I did try to read Mere Christianity about ten years ago, and one of the most interesting comments that he had in there was that he said most of his true friends are Christians. The p friends that really stick with you, the friends that matter, the friends that care, are the Christians. Which is counterintuitive to, you'd think, that like-minded freethinkers would gel together. Not necessarily. Um, so, yeah, just it's something to ponder. Uh, mere Christianity is great, um, and if you have a chance, um, it sounds like the problem of pain is a pretty good, looks like a pretty good one. And uh, there's also a book he wrote called Miracles, which I assume he would be um, talking about how he believes in miracles. So C.S. Lewis, just a little bit from Wikipedia. Um, in early June 1961, this is late in Lewis's life, he began experiencing medical problems, was diagnosed with inflammation of the kidneys, which resulted in blood poisoning. His illness caused him to miss the autumn term at Cambridge, though his health gradually began improving in 1962. He returned that April. Lewis's health continued to improve, and according to his friend George Sayer, Lewis was fully himself by 1963. And then in July of 1963, he fell ill again and was admitted to a hospital. The next day at 5 p.m., he suffered a heart attack and lapsed into a coma. This is night, July of 63, uh, unexpectedly waking the following day at 2 p.m. After he was discharged from the hospital, Lewis returned to the kilns. Though he was too ill to return to work. As a result, he resigned from his post at Cambridge, and his health continued to decline. Diagnosed with end-stage end -stage renal failure. That's pretty nasty. Um, Lewis collapsed in his bedroom at 5.30 p.m. Died a few minutes later. He was buried in the churchyard of Holy Trinity Church in Headington, Oxford. His brother, Warren, uh, died on a April of 73. He was later buried in the same grave, the same exact grave. Media coverage of his death was almost completely overshadowed by the news of the assassination of John F. Kennedy, which occurred on the same day as did the death of Aldous Huxley, author of Brave New World. The coincidence was the inspiration for Peter Kreef's book, Between Heaven and Hell, a dialogue between death with John F. Kennedy, C.S. Lewis, and Aldous Huxley. 
We'll talk about a creative book there. But interesting that he passed away the same day as John F. Kennedy. I didn't know that. Um, C.S. Lewis, but definitely an intellect to be not to be messed with. Um, very strong intellect and would have been a great... Uh, can you imagine uh, C.S. Lewis being a debate partner of Christopher Hitchens? And, uh, you know, if you're a, a theist, you know, you're saying, well, they'll be debating in heaven now, right? Hitchens and Lewis debating in heaven. That's enough for today.